This was the view that my good friend in the local rail fanning community in and around Nashville, Chris Kaufman, got on a morning of Sunday, January 28, 2024. I had received word that morning from both Chris and Augusta McCullough that CSX M212 would be traveling north of the mainline subdivision and would have not just one, but two heritage units leading the way with its two newest locomotives on the heritage roster, CSX 1897, the Manon Railroad Heritage Unit, and CSX 1853, the New York Central Heritage Unit. To my knowledge, I believe this is the first time that two of CSX's new heritage units have worked together on one train, as the others have been involved with other locomotives. Now before this day, I had never seen a heritage unit in person. They do travel through on occasion, I had just not been in a position to see one just yet, but I did not want to miss my chance this time. Now we still go to church on Sunday mornings and I thought there was a chance I could miss it while in church or it would be coming right after church. So I brought my equipment with me just in case we could go see it after church. By the time we got out, Chris, who was at the cemetery in Madison, had still not seen it pass. So I took my wife back home and when I got there, I got the text that it had just passed the cemetery. So if I was going to catch it, I needed to go now. That drive into town, I kept expecting to see the train already going through, but it was such a relief to get a glimpse of the crossing in town and see no lights flashing or any sign of the train. Now, if I could have picked anywhere to be, I'd have much rather shot this train from the shot of the bridge at Drake's Creek Park, but I did not have enough time. When I got there, I knew I would have mere minutes, if even that long, to be ready. So I sprung together my filming equipment, focusing first on my phone's tripod and then as soon as I started filming I could hear the horn from the crossing at Old Shackle Island Road. I rushed to set up my secondary camera facing the other direction and then I had yellow lights coming down the track. Admittedly I didn't have the greatest angle here but time was not on my side this time but one day we'll get one of these filmed with a better angle.
Man, it's cold and it's wet. It's rainy out here. But it was worth it to hurry up and get over here to catch that auto rack train with not just one, but two CSX Heritage units, brand new Heritage units leading the way right through Hendersonville, Tennessee. Thanks for watching this one. This was just a quick video. I had no intention to go rail fanning this weekend. As you can tell, weather continues to be really nasty around here. I'd love nothing more than to get a good sunny day for better lighting in these rail fanning videos. But even though that's not been on my side, I couldn't miss a chance to see two of the new CSX Heritage units pass through the mainline sub. I made time to go rail fanning for this opportunity. If you enjoy the content you're seeing on my channel, make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon to never miss another new video here on Danny V Trains. Until next time, thanks so much for stopping by, and I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys. Four years and 1400 miles between us.